tap in the coconut. I uh, just got here at the beach. Um, I've been at the beach most of the day doing my workout. Uh, today I did push-ups, a lot of push-ups, and my friend helped me with my form. I was like arching my back too much and I wasn't like engaging my glutes. Um, so now I have, you know, straight back and it's way, I feel way more engaged in the, in the muscles. So uh, yeah, glad I'm, you know, I'm still in the beginner phases. I'm still working on form. Form is the most important thing, obviously. So I'm just getting that down still. And um, yeah, I actually went went around, um, had the coconut. Um, pretty good coconut, pretty decent. Um, I really want to find some, some young ones. Like, how can I find the youngest, freshest coconuts ever? Because lately they've been pretty old. And you know, I like to eat the I like to eat the meat, but I like it, you know, when it's jelly, like when it's super fresh, like it's so good, so perfect, super easy to digest. Uh, one of the easiest to digest plant fats in the world, um, I'd say, next to uh, Dubai and durian. Dubai is probably another one of my favorites, um, if you guys know that. But um, yeah, I went to this other beach, and I got dragon fruit, and yeah, I did a little meditation, some stretching, some yoga, all that good stuff. Remember, the stomach, your stomach is about the size of your fist. So we should only really be eating the size of our fist. And with fruits, they digest within like 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes, an hour at the most. Most fruits, um, unless they're like more fatty or more dense. But like the juicy fruits, 45 minutes. So if we eat like the size of our stomach, 45 minutes later, we could have another fruit. But ideally, we shouldn't have more than this per 45 minutes. And then that way, you know, when if we're in a relaxed state, our digestion will just be on point. You know, obviously, I still struggle with that. I struggle with overeating. Um, as I addressed in my previous video, if you guys want to check that out um, so yeah I've been working on eating slowly and I have this tiny bamboo spoon it helps you know sometimes when people eat dragon fruit they just ow, ow, you know and I like to do that too but it's a lot at once and it's a very seedy fruit so it's, it's more aggressive on the digestive system so you want to eat it very slowly um, but yeah let's get into this It's a good spot. This one's really ripe. Ooh. Yeah. Trying to get a thumbnail. Yeah, I got this knife. For like two dollars. It's pretty nice. Let's try this out. Thank you, God, for this amazing fruit. Please help it cleanse, nourish, and energize my body. Bless the hands that have farmed it and helped it get to me today. Okay. Let's try this out. Oh my God, it's so sweet. It was way better than the one I had yesterday. It's all about gratitude, the mindset. Once you have that gratitude, like it's amazing how things will manifest into your life, truly. Practice gratitude every day. Think about things in your life that you didn't have access to before that made your life that much better. Oh man, 
How does it get any better than this? A great question to ask the universe because it opens a door to possibilities. I'm trying to stop speaking sarcastically because I realize the power of manifestation with words. We don't want to accidentally manifest something that we did not intend to. I don't know what happened, but like yesterday, I woke up with this insane like sense of peace. And I just felt very meditative. And I spent a lot of time at the beach just breathing, just observing the waves, observing people, just being, you know, not really stimulating myself, you know, and that's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling not to need stimulation. Especially with food. Before, I would have finished this by now. I would have finished this whole dragon fruit. It would have been gone in seconds. But to take time, truly appreciate the flavors and the complexity and consciously eat and consciously breathe in between bites. Breathing is so important when you're eating and that'll just, like you'll notice a huge difference in your digestion as well. It's just, it's amazing. We have no idea like our true potential. You can't breathe in between bites. You're either eating the wrong food, you're eating too much, you're eating too fast. We can't be blocking the breath. It's the most important thing in life. My state in Washington right now, they're starting a lockdown. Four weeks, I think. Craziness. I'm praying for everybody out there or wherever you are where there's a shutdown. People just drive the motorcycles on the beach. Such a perfect fruit. Absolutely amazing. Got this one for 40 cents. It's like half a kilo. So good. Wow, that was a big bee. Holy crap. It's funny, I look at the rules here. You know, they have the rules posted outside the beach. Uh, no harassing of tourists. I've definitely seen that. No littering. Come on, it's Asia. I've definitely seen that. Um, no motorbikes. I see that. No eating. No alcohol. I always see that. So many alcoholics here in Vung Tao.
alcoholics galore. <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, I think that'll do it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe for more. I'm just going to sit here, enjoy my day. Enjoy this amazing fruit. God bless. Peace. Okay, I just finished my meal, my dragon fruit here, and I want to try something. Okay, I just thought of this. This is called the breath test. Okay, after you finish your meal, see if you can take a full deep breath in and a full deep breath out. Um, yeah. Yep. Super easy. And that's how you know you didn't overeat. I guess you guys, look what I found on the side of the road. Noni fruit. If you guys know me, you know I love this fruit. It tastes like blue cheese. It's like kind of spicy. Sometimes it's sweet. Sometimes it's not so spicy. Sometimes it's very creamy. Oh my gosh. It's like cheese, cheesy fruit. It's probably the smelliest fruit in the world. But oh my gosh, it's just like cheese, blue cheese. I love this fruit so much. Almost like cream cheese or like a goat cheese or something. This one's perfect. I couldn't even help myself. I saw this, instantly picked it up. Locals don't eat this fruit. Most people don't eat this fruit. It's extremely medicinal in the Chinese medicine. I love it, it tastes like cheese. But, um, yeah, most people are repulsed by it. I love it. It has a nice kick. Anti-cancer, many amazing benefits from this fruit. I only know a few other people who like it. And they're, a couple of them are fruitarians, a couple of them are just eating a plant-based diet, but yeah. You know, people, I don't know. I don't know why they don't like it. I love it. Sometimes they're sweet, like slightly sweet, but this one's not sweet. It's like spicy cheese, spicy blue cheese. If you let these sit in a jar, um, it ferments and makes this like salty juice. And that's what they use for like the medicinal benefits. So good, I'm telling you. It has many seeds. Sometimes I swallow them, sometimes spit them out. Yeah. Very good. Noni fruit. N-O-N-I. Noni.